Cause every time I look around, I'm in the same place. That was Buffalo-born hip-hop artist Twitch. He's been traveling all around the country on his self-sustained tour, and he's here now on Weekend Wake Up with us, as, as well as Nick Morgan, who's also on the tour. You're a motivational speaker. Twitch, let's start with you. What is this tour all about? Uh, so the tour is called the Self-Sustained Tour. Uh, me and Nick Morgan, who is a motivational speaker, we have both battled the opioid epidemic. Um, personally, we are both in recovery. Um, I'll be celebrating four years opiate free in August this year. Congratulations. And thank you. And Nick will be celebrating uh, three years clean and sober June, I think, is, is his date as well. So Congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank and you. Uh, the, the entire idea of the tour is to really be out there, you know, putting our foot down um, on the street, talking to people who are out there struggling, let them know that there's another way to live, um, letting them know that there's a solution and there's multiple different paths to recovery that they can try to take to get themselves on a better, on a better uh, road. You know, with uh, a lot of people it being brought to the light lately and a lot of people speaking about it, we wanted to make sure that somebody was out there in the streets as well, actually meeting these people face to face and, you know, making that, that personal connection, so. And Nick, how has the tour been going? Uh, success in these cities you've met, you Abs mentioned? Absolutely. It's, it's been amazing. Um, I think we've hit seven states in 20 cities and we've been able to touch a lot of people, you know, because even for myself, um, the best way to get a message of recovery across was from people that have actually like been in, in my shoes and, and we've been able to do that. It's been, it's been amazing. Uh, obviously, it's a very personal message when you're talking about your own recovery. What impact do you think you've had with these people you've met? Um, I think we've really made a good impact being able to, you know, when me and Nick were using, we were out there at active use, the biggest thing for us was really not having anybody to talk to that we could relate to. You know, having therapists or doctors or teachers or parents talk to you is one thing, but when you have somebody that's been there and says, listen, I, I've lived it, I've survived it, and I have a solution, it just makes it a little bit easier and, you know, you're, we're a little bit more empathetic to the situation than a normal human being might be that hasn't gone through it. And having gone through it, uh, you mentioned you're nearly four years mm -hmm. right now. How has your music evolved over that time? It's been unbelievable. Um, I mean, you know, my music started out as, you know, really drug addiction music and just kind of explaining that I was on drugs and what they were doing to me. Um, and then over time, it evolved to recovery and, and letting people know that through my music and, you know, through speaking out and, and connecting with other addicts, I was able to find this path and create this community. So um, it's just evolved into such a positive movement. And, you know, it's just, it's an honor to be where I am right now. And Nick, you're also long-term in recovery at this point. Has your message changed over this time? Absolutely. I mean, I went from being homeless and miserable <laughs> <laughs> three years ago to, to, to being successful today. And I don't mean like material-wise, I just mean like internally, you know. Um, I get to travel the country and, and help people that, that have been, that are going through the same thing I have. And, you know, uh, my message is, is all about solution-based, all about hope. So it's, it's been awesome. And my understanding is the tour is starting to wrap up now. What's next for you both? So we, uh, we got a lot of plans, you know, for the self-sustained tour is going to continue. This is only segment one. Um, you know, we hit the seven states we did, but right now we're ordering out and kind of organizing everything for our next run. So June, July, you guys are going to see us on the road and we'll be out there helping more people. Any plans to stop here in Buffalo? Of course. <laughs> Buffalo, we're going to have a huge event here, so stay tuned. That's going to be very soon. So. All right. Thank you both so much for joining us this thank morning. Uh, and we'll be posting more about Twitch's current tour and work on our website, WIVB.com. Plus, when we come back, we have another half hour of your top local news, national headlines, and a very sunny spring forecast. We can wake up his back in two minutes.